European Central Bank President Christine Lagarde. You know her name because you've heard me talk about her at the IMF, not a fan, but nonetheless. She, she comes up with this uh, noble idea that what we need to do in the Eurozone is develop an economy that is going to grow within. Do you think? I mean, what she was trying to say was, well, we're not going to be dependent as much on exports and trade and all those things, but um, they need to be creating, your zone needs to be creating an economy that is uh, going to grow. I mean, when I read the entire statement, it was kind of laughable. But first of all, I'm not saying it's a bad idea. It's not a bad idea at all. Here's the problem. First of all, the European Central Bank that she's now in charge of is the one that has created all the problems, in my opinion. That's number one. The other thing that has created all the problems is you've got a whole bunch of countries trying to agree on what level of bailouts you're going to give to the companies, the countries that are failing. That's been a problem. Any of the cash reserves and like, for instance, the largest con- company in the world, a country in the world, um, one of the things that is going to save them is, you know, we, we've got to uh, use up all your money all your cash reserves, all your sovereign wealth. There is no really sovereign anything in the Eurozone. Uh, We're going to use that because we've got to bail out Greece or we've got to do something for Portugal banks or uh, Ireland's banks or Spain's banks or Italy's banks, now Germany's banks. So we're going to use up all those funds. Then to top it off, after we use up all those funds, We're going to trash our currency to the point of negative interest rates. So you're going to have to pay us, the central bank, for any safety that you might want to have in our bonds. It's not, it's a failed experiment. And the only thing that's going to help the Eurozone They got to do what she said. That would be wonderful. But it takes years and years to get to that place. They don't have years and years. And the only thing that's going to help them now is the central bank intervening. So the Eurozone is headed for some pain. They're in some pain. They're heading in for more pain. One of the best things you could do is create a little bit more pain right now since everybody is going through this pain anyway and raise interest rates. You don't have to raise them to 4% but you can get them above negative interest and get them up to 25 basis points at least. And that's something they ought to do. It's going to cause a lot of pain to a certain extent, but in the long run, you're strengthening the currency. Hey, I want to thank you for watching the clip. We sure do appreciate it. Would you go right now, click on that subscribe button if you haven't already. That helps us. We would appreciate it. Thanks again.